Hello, Misty Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem with me, Blue Inkilo. <clears throat> After driving Narcine away from Ostia, Roy and company brace themselves for further attacks from Burn. However, Burn's belligerent movements towards Lycia come to an abrupt halt. As if to mock Roy and his caution, Burn also maintains a neutral position on an offer of a treaty from Etruria. Burn's sudden silence and lack of activity can only be described as eerie. With Hector gone, Foray is now the greatest power in Lycia. Hollywood summons the Council of Marquesses. How do you say that one? Marquesses? <laughs> Mar Marquesans to Foray. It is decided that Eliwood is to lead the Council of the Lycian League. A new Lycian army is also to be established. This new army's purpose is not to take the offensive against Bern, but rather take a defensive stance for Lycia, which is what the first army did, and then they got burned by dragons. Owing to his victory against Burn in Ostia, Roy is chosen leader of this new army, also because his dad is the leader. Gradually, the attitude and morale in Lycia begins to improve. People once again conduct business without fear, and they embrace a new optimism. Axes are outlawed and the rates of banditry have declined. At this time, Etruria calls for Lycia's assistance. The kingdom needs help with restoring law to the Western Isles. Many outlaws make their bases there, and anarchy is said to rule because they have yet to ban the axe. Many in Lycia are uneager to send their troops to the other side of the continent because then they'll be open to be invaded by Burn again. Obviously, and Etruria should be able to handle the one neighbor they've got. But having received Etruria's aid in Ostia, they have no choice but to oblige. Thus, Roy and the Lycian army pass through Etruria toward the Isles, and nothing bad will happen while we're away. The Western Isles are the numerous islands off the western coast of Eli. Presently, they are colonies of Vitruria. The Western Isles are rich in resources, so mining is a major industry here. However, these resources are worth a fortune. Inevitably, varied bands of rogues traveled there hoping to loot the mines. And they all have terrible haircuts. As such, the people of the Western Isles live in constant fear of bandit attacks. Roy is sent to vanquish these bandits with an army of swords to deal with all the axe guys. Okay, so this is going to be our first foggy map, which is kind of interesting. Um, we also get 13 units, which is a little bit better. So the trick with fog maps is uh, thieves get, I believe, double the view range of any other units, so when you're looking around in the fog of war, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for normal units, and I believe it's 10 for, um, for thieves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Bingo, bango, I got it. And one of my classic tricks for these maps is before you even really start, you just put your thieve on all the edges, like all of, all of the possible um, boundaries of your deployment zone, and you can get a bit of an idea of uh, where some of the starting enemies are. So like, we know there's a bunch of axe guys over here, we know there's an axe guy really close by down here as well. I probably won't have Chad start down on this angle, but at least um, so you can prepare. It's, it's a nice little strategy in my, in my book. Alright, first off we want to double check uh, some items. I'm pretty sure that the Duran doll is way too special for um, Roy right now. I don't think you can even get an S rank until you're promoted, so forget that. It's pretty mighty. That's cool. Anyway, we'll store it away for now. Uh, anyone else needs some inventory management? Uh, I need more 
magic. Um, the last boss... Oh man, that's not good. The last boss kind of burned through a ridiculous amount of uh, spell tomes. So we need to find a shop pronto. Uh, his Iron Lance will break soon, but he's already got a spare. Fine, Saul, should, if I'm gonna keep using him anyway, we should give him another heal. Rutger could take another iron sword, he's getting pretty close to breaking his old one. Let's take one that's not gonna break even sooner. Deke's fine, Clarine might as well take an extra heal. Uh, sometimes, uh, this is also a reasonably good time to bring uh, the torch staff if you want. Um, I don't think we'll need it for this Fog of War map, but especially when you're later on in the game, having a, a cleric or whatever, a light, a, a staff user that can use the torch one is pretty cool. So keep that in mind if you want to try that out. Uh, we do need to bring Sue for this map, I double checked. There's an important reason to bring her along. And we also need to bring, oh, let me just double check. It's one of these Trek or Noah's. I always forget the names though. We want to bring Noah specifically. So, um, you know, you could probably figure this out, but like, uh, remember back in, um, when, when we recruited him, he was talking to this girl that was going to go to the Western Isles to find a mining hunts, mining boyfriend. So we have to bring Noah for that. Um, I'm thinking of cutting out Luf for now and letting Noah come along. Could have easily cut out one of my other Cav, but we'll see who gets the final chop. Uh, let's see. I mean, I don't need two mages. Yeah, probably one mage is fine for now. I do like Luf. I'm also really close to getting rid of Lot. I think, like, one or two more maps and we're going to be able to get a better Axe Guy if we want an Axe Guy. Otherwise, not a lot of people I really want to see. Is there anyone else I'd want to bring at all? Probably not, and Noah's only here for one reason. I should probably at least give him some weapons, though. I'll give him just a basic iron lance and iron sword. That'll have to do for him. I don't really want him to get a whole lot of experience or anything, but uh, if, he, if he fights a little bit, that's fair. You know, I feel like... Nah, Luf is level 14. He can take the day off. That's fine. He's already got the most level ups. I'm not really bringing boars much these days. One of these days, if we get a map where I can bring lots of spare characters, I am going to try to show you the, tr the triangle attack, but uh, I mean, I don't plan on using three armor knights. Alright, well this will probably do then. Hopefully I haven't missed anything too important. Let me um, rearrange people a little bit here. So there's a lot of axe guys, so it's a good map for um, uh, Deke and uh, Rutger and Roy. Probably not great for Shanna, but then again, there's lots of places to fly around, which helps. Uh, also of note, for this map, we've got uh, the target. And I think you can only visit one of these two towns. Let me just double check real quick. Um, sorry for the music disappearing. I just want to double check this before we get started so I can... Uh, Clear this up. Um, do, 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 do. Isn't it this map? Chapter 9? Yeah, because 10 is... There's a split, basically. There's, there's going to be two possible chapters coming up. Either what we're going to call 10A or 10B. And depending on which village you visit is which one you get. And I want the certain one. Um... Like, I don't think there's any way in-game that they just tell you about these things ahead of time. Um, sorry, guys. Just one second. I wanted to just double-check. What? It's for... I have a guy. Sorry. <laughs> it's really quality. Um, okay, so... North Left Village goes to 10A and 11A. North right village goes to 10B and 11B. Okay, sorry. 
Just had to double check. I was pretty sure. So this is the one we want to go to. Don't accidentally let me go into there or else I'll sort of mess up my plan. It's fine. It's kind of odd in some of the Fire Emblems how uh, this, some of the chapters split. And sometimes the conditions are really weird. Like, this one's not too bad. But sometimes it's like the combined levels of all of your warriors versus all of your mages. And whoever's got the highest total levels gets a certain, le certain chapter. And that kind of stuff kind of confuses me a bit. Anyway, I think uh, we should rearrange a little bit here. Wouldn't mind Rutger getting some more XP. Deke is pretty strong. Put the healers in the back. Can't move Roy anyway. Chad might get some kills on this map, so that's fine. Just because he can see far away and he's good against Axe guys. Um, I'm not going to be rushing uh, Shanna up this way to get herself killed. We will want to head this way quickly because there's uh, shops and stuff, plus the villages. But um, we also need to send someone over that way as well. So like, there's lots of stuff to do on this map, is what I'm trying to say. This will probably be fine. Alright, let's get started. Alright, fight it out. New music, even. How would you know? We're in the fog, you can't see us. Yeah, you sure? Too much fog. I don't believe it. Now, of course, the the computer never follows the rules of fog, so they just attack anyway. They never follow line of sight rules. So something's funky in uh, Etrurian politics here. I don't trust those chancellors, especially a high chancellor. Sounds too much like a vizier to me. Oh, was it the was it the high chancellor? It's totally the high chancellor, right? Probably being poisoned. You should just you should just arrest Rorts right now. If there's a Lycia to return to. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm not sure why they came this far with us in the first place, honestly. You know, right now there's no one in Lycee at all. They should have just stayed there. Okay, well, let's get to work. Um, so, I don't think... Now, if you wanted to play super defensive, I guess you could just put Rutger in that forest and just wait it out for ages. But that sounds really boring. So, um... I don't think these two are strong enough to cause any serious threat. So we're just going to rush down here. I know he can throw a hand axe, but like, you know. We're gonna want Chad to get across fairly quickly. Uh, after that, maybe get Lolita in there. I just wanna keep uh, Shanna safe, which is difficult to do on uh, on uh, Fog of War maps with archers hiding in the fog. It's scary. And then remember, specifically, Mr. Ankylo, that Noah's not supposed to get all the kills. He's here for a different reason. 
like to see Sue get some experience. I guess she's not too far behind or anything, though. Oh, also, there's a house to visit. Almost missed it. Really? Oh. I wonder who that is. Don't see very many nomads on an island. I fear... I hear... Oh, why am I wasting my killing edge here? That's terrible. That was a huge mistake. Come on, don't attack Well, or attack at range, that's fine. Just don't let me waste that killing edge. Those things are too expensive, just throw away like that. Alright, well I'm thinking, let's see how Chad can do here. Uh, pretty good. He's not gonna get the kill. Maybe we can weaken him with Roy a little bit. Yeah. 16% is nothing to worry about, probably. I figure Deke and Rutger will get lots of kills, so we might as well start off with uh, Chad and Roy for now. There we go. Come on, Chad. Show me those great growths you're supposed to have. That's pretty mediocre. Alright, but we can see more stuff. Looks like none of these guys can move over the mountains, at least. That's something. Let's send Shanna to visit this house. Which way will you go? Well, we'll put her all the way down, I guess. Oh, no! <laughs> I did not mean to click that. I was just going too quickly. Oh, fear! Seems a little dense, guys. He's a little skinny. So they're way over there. He's a lot like Wrath. He's basically Wrath 1.0. The original Wrath. Got to remember that those nomads don't like to talk. <laughs> Pretty much standard. All right. So they're way over there. These guys are going to gloat. A whoa do Whoa do well, That's not nice at all, is it? Alright, looks like they got some sword guys to go with the axe guys. Let's see if we can do enough damage, maybe. No. We need to get a crit at 1%. So, if I'd done my moves properly, I totally messed that turn up. I meant to move those those uh, cab down like this. I sort of well, I bollocksed it. So let's let uh, Sue try to soften this guy up a little bit. Clearly, she needs to rush over and talk to Shin though. I think in Fire Emblem 7, one of the little perks they added was the fortune teller that would sort of advise you if you needed to bring someone to recruit. So in this version, or this Fire Emblem 6, we're far enough back in Fire Emblem history that they're not actually nice enough to give you forewarning about who to bring to recruit people. So unless you plan on reloading the game after you start, because you didn't realize you needed Noah and Sue, you might miss some characters very easily. <laughs> That gives us some more vision. Yeah, I kind of messed up 
my move order. Uh, that's enough damage, just just enough. I'm I'm in a bit of a rush here because I I didn't move my cab last turn, so I'm just gonna let Deke and Rutger sort of plow through as quick as they can. And then I'll try to have the Cav catch up next turn, next couple turns. It's nine damage, that's not enough. What about Steel Sword? That'd be 22 if it hits, so we're actually not going to kill with this attack. And to be fair, the enemy could get a crit back. We're, we're rolling the dice here. So, yeah, like I said, I kind of messed things up a little bit. Let's not repeat that now. So there's no healing, <laughs> there's no Lance and Allen. Yeah, definitely don't do what I did there. Oh, he'll be fine. It's almost better this way, because Chad could use the experience. Should be checking what weapons the enemies have, just so I don't get caught out. Um, poison axe! Like, there you go, that's kind of interesting. Uh, more poison and some steel bows. Oh, we can just get close enough to heal up, Chad. That's, that's one good bit of news, at least. That's a pretty good level up for, uh, for a healer, actually. Alright, so it's possible he'll be in range. No. But there might be someone else that we can't see. So, if it's really bad, I can rescue him out of the way. But he should be fine, I don't think... They can't even hit him, actually. Okay. So, Steel Sword, and Axe. I wouldn't mind moving... Rutger will be okay if I move him up one space above Chad. Steel Sword is 16 damage. The problem is Rutger's pretty low on luck, so he might get crit by the enemy Merc, maybe. And Axe probably not too much to worry about. Well, I'd rather get healed up. So instead we'll be uh, a little bit cautious here, basically. Let the rest of the crew catch up at least a little. And yes, I know, I need to deal with support conversations one of these days. Soon, guys, soon. Um, I've almost decided who I want to have my final team, or my main my main group of, of final of characters, basically. It's just, uh, I'm not 100% sold on a couple people. And then I gotta look up at all, like, who can get supports with who, and try to make the best matches. If you watched my Fire Emblem 7 Let's Play, you'll remember I probably showed you a bit of a diagram at one point where I drew it all out, tried to plan who got to be A rank or B rank with who. Okay, so they didn't attack. That lets us get into, like, the forest. Now, three people could attack Chad, but... If he's in the forest, he'll be almost invincible, I bet. So I wish you luck. And if you don't want to attack Chad, you're welcome to attack to try attacking Deke. Deke is very sturdy. He should be more than fine. It's probably more likely the uh, hand axe dude will go after Roy anyway. And then I want to heal Rutger. We'll do that like this. Just in case. His biggest weakness is this lack of crit protection, which is a little scary. Alright, Alan looks like he's caught up. Excellent. Lance is now basically caught up. I'm not even sure why I brought Law, to be honest. And I guess technically you could have flown uh, Shanna over this uh, mountain range and used her against um, the mage down there, but it's 
not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm thinking... Don't let her get too close to the archers. But close enough that she can help out with whatever, whatever, whatever happens next turn. Alright, I love that 0%. Chad in the forest was good boom. Alright, try try to get a better level up this time, buddy. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I like it. There's no chance against Tank. Come on. Actually, that Merc must be pretty quick. Excellent. Dodge tanking. Now, who's that Mermidden coming down with the long ponytail? So that'll be Fear, another level one with a special, super special sword that we definitely need to be careful about. One, two, three, four, five, probably, or one, two, three, four, five, because it's a forest there. So don't stand adjacent to this, unless we could get Noah, who's too far away to talk to. So we have to be a little bit careful this round. If I do move someone adjacent to this guy, we'll have to rescue them out of the way. Because we do not want to get hit by someone with a 44% crit. Even if her base attack isn't that high. Alright, so... Maybe Lalina... On this guy? I'm okay with Chad staying in the forest, honestly. He's, he's been doing great. Got a really good level up and everything. Okay, and then I'm thinking Oh, I have to move actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to rescue him now for sure. I didn't Yeah. Well, he might have enough dodge. What's your base stats? Uh, it's hard to say. 94% hit rate by base, minus like 20 from the forest, minus his speed. She probably still has a half good chance to hit him, honestly. Alright, so a little bit tricky here. Yes, well... I'll just go with the Iron Sword and then uh, Roy will be the backup kill here. And then Lelina can kill the uh, Merc. That's pretty lucky, actually. Alright, I feel like that was a pretty good deal. And here, now I need to save everybody from the super crit. I'll definitely take that point in strength. And, uh, you know, Roy's actually getting pretty good resistance, um, which is nice. Like, uh, almost kept up with Shanna, so that's pretty good for him. Alright, now let's get these people out of the way here. Let's be smart about this. Alright, so now we know she can stand in, like, these two squares and everywhere else should be fine. So what we can do is something like this. Something like this. I should have left another square open, but oh well. So that Lance could drop one. Yeah, like, so D could pick it up and drop, but I, I didn't quite plan that part out well enough. Yeah, we're fine where we are. Let's... Anybody need healing here? No. So let's use... Well, let's get Clarine a little bit closer in case we need healing next turn. Sue will have enough aid thanks to her horse. One of the real advantages of having lots of mounted units. You get an awful lot of uh, rescue options, which is really good. And let me guess. Now this guy, he has some crit rate, but pretty low base damage to start with. 
loyal to the Silver Wolf. Um, by the way, she's just a girl. Alright, so, uh, clearly the first thing we need to do is have Noah run over here and say, Oh, hey, I know you. Put on his best line. Do you see any pirates here, girl? I mean, I'd be happy to have some pirates on the team, but we don't have any yet. <laughs> Scott the pirate. So, yeah, okay. A little bit naive, let's say. Well, and just like that, we've got our new recruit. Um, I'm gonna put Noah in the trees. So now, uh, I just need to make sure no one dies from Shin. I think he's just gonna charge towards us, so I think we're just gonna wait one more turn, basically. Now, as far as long-term viability, uh, I don't know how good Fear is. I have a feeling she might be kind of on Wendy's tier, whereas starts at level one but isn't really that great. Uh, let's have a quick look at her stats. I guess six, nine, ten at level one is pretty good um, compared to the other Mermidden. I mean, she could certainly have plus two strength, plus four, four skill, plus five speed in nine level ups, or eight level ups. It's possible. But, um, Rutger's already pretty good. I think he's got better con than her as well. So yeah, she's again a really lightweight in terms of constitution, which is difficult for, um, some of the better swords, basically. All I want to do... Maybe we could lure this guy out down here? Yeah. Let's use... Do I dare to use Roy for that? I guess we find out how bad poison is, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. It'll be fine. There's no way that guy will kill Roy in one hit. Now we can get some heals up this direction to uh, Deke. Might as well use Clarine because she needs the XP more. And just want to stay out of Shin's range here so we can move a couple people over. Like so. Group up a little bit better here, that's all. Good, I'll even pull Florina over. Not Florina. Ha! Ha ha! Got me, game. Got me. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. Alright, once we've got Shin, then we don't have to worry about being so careful for a little while. So the real reason I resurrected Sue back on her chapter was because apparently the only way to get Shin is to have Sue talk to him. So if she's dead, you cannot get him, apparently. So uh, let's get that done with right away. Of course. Looking for her on an island. Clearly, the main place you'd want to go to if you're from a uh, nomadic horse people, basically the Mongols, first thing you should do is hop on a boat and go to an island nation with pirates. Because that's where all nomads want to go, basically. It's 
It's in their blood, probably. So, I, yeah. <laughs> I was told to find you and protect you, so I went the furthest way away from Sakai on the continent. Kind of silly, but whatever, we'll take it. So anyway, now we've got another Nomad. Um, I don't know which one's supposed to be better. Sue looks pretty good to me, but she's got a few levels on him. Maybe he's a little bit more strength-focused and she's a little bit more skill-focused, is kind of my guess. Um, and again, archers don't need a ton of skill for crit rate, or for accuracy. But, uh... He's also got more defense. He might be better. Um, I do like strength and defense, especially when, uh, since they promote, they can use swords and you have to deal with a bit more counterattacks, but, um, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna use one of them, and Sue's already pretty good. You could definitely use both if you really like them, though. I, mean, I don't think he's a bad unit just by his base stats, anyway, unless his growth is terrible. Good job, Roy. Overkill. And, uh, what do we want to use against this archer, uh, kind of thinking of just getting Noah out of the way now. I know he's kind of just a liability, and the same thing with fear, like, I just don't want to use them. So let's just keep fear and Noah out of the way, and probably Shin, and just let the people that I plan on use get, get the kills, plan to use, get kills. Put some vision up here. So that's where the boss will be. I think we're going to split up. I don't think there's going to be all that many units to this northeast group. So I'll need a couple sword guys and a couple people to deal with the archers, and then I'll send the rest south so we can get both villages, basically. Um... Yeah, you know, Rutger, let's see if he can get a level up. Probably have to use a steel sword. Pretty bad level up again for Rutger, unfortunately. Speed's nice, but uh, it's not what I was hoping for. Okay, so I'm thinking... Well, there'll probably be reinforcements from these sea forts. Probably pirates, I would be willing to bet. So I'm gonna try to lure out this guy, who's got a steel axe. I should just double check. Oh yeah, Albert, that's important to know. Uh, iron bow, steel axe, iron. So the only thing that's really scary is the ha the halberd. So I I'm gonna try to lure out not the halberd, but uh, the steel axe guy, and then be careful in the future. Now for the southern route, we know there's like a mage down there, so maybe F Shana's the right person to send. Was there an archer beside the mage? Well, what I'm thinking here... Uh, okay, I wonder if I should pull Deke back. You know what? He may not have a lot of resistance, but I don't think the mage is going to one-shot him or anything. We should be fine. I was thinking of switching him for Florina, basically, just so... Sh so um, just so we'd have uh, a better mage counter for not taking much damage, but I don't think it'll be a big problem. Right, I'll probably send most of the rest of the team to the north now. Probably not the perfect split, honestly, but it'll be fine. Alright. The risk is that there's no thieves going south, so I don't get very good vision down here. On the other hand, Deke, you know... I'm sure you guys see it on screen. <laughs> Alright, this should also be fine. Alan's fast enough to a double attack a pirate or a bandit. Alright, so we lured the mage out at least. He managed to get a hit in, but that's fine. Shouldn't be too much to worry about. Now, this is the one that's scary. 
That's a very high level archer too, level 12 archer high now. Means good experience anyway. So I'm thinking... Try to lure the archer out first maybe, or... I don't know, is the halberd against a non-horse unit? That's still a lot of damage, 21, yeah. So, don't move close enough to get hit by the halberd. So, two squares up, basically. Lure the archer out, probably. We can see the boss now, finally. Very scary. I don't like killer axes at all. We're gonna have to be careful with that. Um, I guess... I doubt the archer will take the bait, but they might, and then Sue could counterattack the, uh, the enemy archer. Shin, I'll send him south, but I don't expect to really need to use him down there much. Alright, so we've got... Can't see much. I'm gonna attack the mage from this angle, and if things are really bad, I should be able to rescue Shanna. Actually, that's not enough damage. It's never enough damage. It's only one. All right, if we do this and then hit with Shannon, that'll be enough to kill it. Okay, there is an archer, so Shanna is not the right choice. Gotta be a little bit careful here. We got a double attack at least. Actually, you know, Roy could have took more damage from there than I was expecting. I was thinking he had pretty good resistance like I was just talking about, but... Oh, we can make it to the archer. Oh man, that's good stuff, Lance. Can you kill him though? So close. Oh well, 57%. Um... It's honestly probably not that risky unless there's a bunch of other enemies down here, which is possible. I think we'll give it a try. We're gonna keep the iron sword equipped, mostly so it's hard for the axe guy to hit him. And because supposedly it has good accuracy, and missing on an 87 is a little bit unusual. Alright, so at worst, probably just the one axe guy and one archer shot, he should be fine. And we'll make sure to get some reinforcements ready for him. But we do need to watch. Unfortunately, I guess, you know, I was hoping there'd be some good opportunities for Shan on this map, but there really hasn't been much. I'm gonna actually send Rutger up, because I didn't send very many swords up this way. Just in case there's a surprise. And then you two are just on guard duty, I guess? Alright, there are a lot of axe guys down there coming in. To be honest, Lance with one healer could probably hold them off. Deke for sure could. Especially if we just choke pointed with a bridge. Alright, so yeah, they went after Chad as expected. Alright, well, we're gonna end the episode here. I feel like we are maybe about halfway through. We definitely need to deal with the villages and a bit of shopping. Um, but... We've probably killed about half the enemies on the map. We're pretty secure, I think. Nothing too dangerous going on. We've gotta just keep in mind there's a halberd. The boss is gonna be difficult. Berserker with Killer Axe. So, he gets a plus 30% critical rate because of his class on top of 30% from his weapon, which puts him at 60, plus some skill puts him at 64. That's insane, actually. So yeah, that's a problem. Uh, Poison Axe hasn't managed to hit yet. Hellfire is not too bad. That's all we can see for now. I guess I could be stealing antitoxins to cure poison if I was really smart. Anyway, we'll deal with that next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.